Hi guys, uh, myself Vijayka Vardhan and in this video session we are going to discuss about one of the example problems on isometric projections and an example problem is like this a hemisphere of 40 mm diameter is supported coaxially on the vertex of a cone of base diameter 60 mm and axis length 50 mm the flat circular face of the hemisphere is facing upside draw the isometric projections of the combination of the solids so according to the given conditions, uh, the hemisphere is there of uh, diameter 40 millimeter is uh, coaxially positioned on a vertex of a cone whose diameter is 60 mm and axis length is 50 mm. So according to this, uh, when we are going to construct an isometric, uh, sorry, orthographic projection, this is how the orthographic projection is going to look like. And once we got the orthographic projection, we will get a clear idea how to complete the problem. Now. We know that uh, the bottom base diameter is 60 mm, so henceforth we have to enclose the circle in the form of an ellipse. To construct an ellipse, uh, so we will follow the method like this. So we have to construct a 60 mm square. So 60, 30, 60, 150, 60, minus 150, 60, minus 30, or uh, we can connect it back to the first point. And then to construct an ellipse, I am going to draw the respective constructional lines as per our requirement which is already as shown in one of our, in the previous uh, video sessions of the basic constructions and after which uh, making use of a command called as arc by center point with a thickness of 0 0.5 so now uh, let me complete the arc over here using the 4 arc method so one arc is completed the another one arc is going to be completed and using this intersection uh, one more arc is going to be drawn here so sometimes we may not get the desired thing so we will get in the opposite direction only thing is we need to keep on drawing it to get that uh, respective arcs now i can say that the arcs has been completed now this is the diameter of 60 millimeter and its axis length is 60 millimeter height so let me draw the axis height so the axis height is going to be available from the center to a height of 50 millimeter at an angle of 90 degree so after which i need to construct an hemisphere whose diameter is 40 millimeter now i already constructed a, a circle of 60 millimeter so what i'm going to do is uh, using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and a chain line i'm going to further extend the hemisphere axis of 20 millimeter and after which what we are going to do is we are going to select this uh, portion of the circle and then uh, make use of a command called as move move from this bottom base and it has to be repositioned at the top base then using the scale factor i can reduce the size of the ellipse to 40 mm now 40 mm is a required size and we have constructed the 60 so scale factor is 40 by 60 so that I am going to get the position of the 40 mm hemisphere that is hemisphere circle that is the top face has been constructed here and then using the arc by center point with the 0.5 mm thick and a continuous line we know the center of this line that is uh, the center of the ellipse with respect to the center of the ellipse uh, we are going to draw the spherical portion from the bottom like this that is from the midpoint or the shear point we are going to connect it now one can see where this is the required hemisphere now after constructing this hemisphere the conical portion is not yet completed so let us complete the conical portion so keep the curve tangential to this one now one can see that now we know the height of the apex is over there so up to the apex portion it has to be connected then make use of uh, a trim command then let me trim off this portion the, uh, that is after the visibilities those things are not going to be seen and the construction lines if it is required we can retain it otherwise it can be eliminated now let me eliminate it and using the trim command the unwanted portions i am going to trim it out now i can say that the isometric drawing or isometric view has been completed for the given question now it has to be converted to a isometric scale for which we have to select this figure then using the scale command let us convert this into a isometric scale factor of 0 0.8164 times of the marginal figure 
Now this is for the required isometric projections for the given conditions. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like this video and subscribe to my channel and kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students. Thank you for watching this video guys. And if you have any sort of doubts, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are provided here. Once again, thank you guys.